if you're walking outside and in the evening and the lights are on, the light reflects on the flooring and it reflects back on the ceiling. So you really experience from the outside a little bit different colors in the ceiling. But the ceiling is white, but it reflects these colors. I'm Francine Huben, founding partner and creative director of Meccano Architects. I'm an architect and an urbanist. Uh, we are based in Delft in the Netherlands. My vision is very much based on the philosophy of people, place, purpose and poetry. Dealing with the people, with the local culture, with the local climate, creating space that can accommodate changes. There was an existing building, library in Washington DC, designed by Mies van der Rohe. It was named after Martin Luther King, but was already very special at that time. But it was in a horrible condition. Washington really wanted to make it the library of the future. And what we really try to do is to try to give it an identity that belongs to that city. But for me, that was a very interesting combination to understand the philosophy of Mies van der Rohe and to understand the philosophy of Martin Luther King. For me, it's very much about timeless human values. And I realize also that for the people of Washington, uh, Martin Luther King and his legacy was, of course, much more important than the legacy of uh, Mies van der Rohe. And if there was sometimes a conflict in my mind between the two persons, I always chose what I think what was better in the philosophy of Martin Luther King. To create a, a welcoming feeling in buildings, in public buildings, is for me very essential. And playing with the light and the colors and the materials. I think to select Marmolium for the Martin Luther King Memorial Library was for me so logic, to be honest. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a building from 1972. It has a, its kind of uh, modern, timeless values. And for me, Marmolium also has these values. We selected Marmolium in different colors. The Sahara color, I used it in the basement and on the second floor. And then the floor on top of it is the brownish reddish color where we also have the grand reading room and on top floor light gray and also what we did because the building used to have many walls inside brick walls and we took them away and we created lines where the brick walls used to be we did it with the dark gray Yeah, Mies van der Rohe and this Marmoleum really, they belong together. <laughs>